Welcome back to another episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. We're here at Brewery Cinema Pub, our home for movie reviews. I'm Jimmy Martin with Slug Magazine. And I'm Jeff Weiss with MSN Entertainment. You can find Big Movie Mouth Off on Xfinity, Comcast, uh, Utah On Demand, Salt Lake Alternative, Neat Little Sleeve. You can also find it uh, on Channel 6 or Channel 1 on your On Demand. Uh, new and old reviews, things that are currently uh, in theaters, things that are on, now on DVD or might even be on demand, so you can check them out this, that way. All right, well, this week, this film, it's getting a lot of buzz because I think it's very controversial. Mm -hmm. It's got some actresses in it that you wouldn't expect in it. It's Spring Breakers, uh, directed by, I say, Harmony Corinne. You say... Harmony Corinne. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Tomato. Whatever. Uh, but this oh, is the director... Oh, let's just call the whole review off? Oh, uh, yeah, let's do it, right? Uh, this is where this is heading. Uh, so, this, I will say, eccentric filmmaker. Uh, yes. You may, may know his work uh, from Trash Humpers, Julian Donkey Boy, and Gummo. Very, very odd films. Uh, I'd say this is probably his most mainstream release with a cast in it that includes Vanessa Hudgenson, a Disney kid, uh, Selena Gomez, mm -hmm. a Disney kid, uh, his own wife, Rachel Wait. Crying Corinne, we want to say, uh -huh. and I Ashley Benson. Yes. Uh, and so you've got four girls who are tired of their mundane, monotonous lives in their small town, so they want to go to spring break in Florida, and they don't have any money, so they rob a restaurant, as you do, and they travel down to Florida, party, 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 drugs, 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 alcohol, 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 alcohol boobs, 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 get arrested and get sa saved, bailed out by a rapping drug dealer played by James Franco. Uh, and then... Who likes to call himself Alien. Yeah, because he's not from planet Earth. Uh, okay, so that's kind of your story. All I know is I'm not gonna sit here another day. It's spring break. How are we gonna get enough money I don't in know. time? We're the only ones still here. It's spring break. I'm tired of seeing the same thing. It's spring break. It's your chance to see something different. It's spring break. Just give that cash. Pretend like it's a video game. We can do this. It's spring break. You can change who you are, you all. Bikinis and big booties, y'all. That's what life is about. Who are you? My name's Aileen. Why are you here? I saw y'all in there. They like nice people. Come on, y'all. Why you acting suspicious? <laughs> I knew y'all special from the moment I saw you. It's written on your faces. Because I just have a really, really bad feeling about this. Let's cause some trouble now. Break, break, bitches! I got my dark tan and oil. Lay out by the pool. This is the American dream, y'all. Spring break. Y'all want to die tonight? Spring break. Get down! You're scared, aren't you? Forever. Spring break forever, bitches. Here's the thing. Uh, you can try to convince me that Harmony Corinne actually shot enough footage to make an entire film. Uh -huh. You didn't. Uh, what you did, you shot about 30 minutes of usable footage. Uh -huh. You stressed it out into 90 by repeating scenes over and Absolutely. over and, and over and over. And augmenting it with faux Girls Gone Wild videos. Oh, yeah. I, I, and, you know, with just awful, awful montages. And it feels like it's about 120 minutes long. So 30 to 90 to 120. I have not been bored uh, out of my mind in a long time in, in a movie theater. And I don't care how much boobs you put on the screen. Uh, there's more to filmmaking than that. And, I will, and, and, and to be fair, I understand. I, under, I think I understand the <laughs> vibe that he's going for, which is a cautionary tale, which is not just that Girls Gone Wild is as facile and grotesque as we think it is, but that Spring Break itself is as grotesque and facile as we think it is, and our thrill-seeking youth of today are as grotesque and facile as, as we think they are. I get it. I get Ugh. it. 
But here's the it's thing. It's still punishingly heavy-handed. Oh, it's awful. It's still it's, monotonous. It's it's. I've never seen so much repeated footage in a film. Like I, I understand flashbacks every now and then, but not like seven times of the same thing. Um, and now here's the thing that why this is getting controversial. Um, Selena Gomez looks like a nine-year-old, uh, and they're like, oh, she's in this crazy film. Well, she doesn't really do anything. She yes. plays Selena Gomez. If, yeah, if, she if, plays if, a Disney character. <laughs> yes, and if you thought she was a bad actress before, wait till you see when she's thrown into serious material like uh, this. It's just bad. I, I, Spoiler I, alert, her character leaves partway through. It's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's a well, good thing. That's probably the one best movie he made in this film. Absolutely. Uh, I oh. don't like listening to four drunk girls sing Britney Spears for half an hour. That's No, while, while James Franco sits at, in front of a piano and and there's like, I'm not kidding, there's like two or three like Britney Spears montages of them just singing. And it's, it's seriously, it cuts into my brain. Uh, I will say this. Mm -hmm. James Franco is a good actor. Yes. If there's any reason to He's see this film. He's very watchable. Very yeah, watchable. Yeah, if there's any reason to see this film, it's James Franco. However, the price of admission to your local theater is not worth seeing James Franco in this film. Go watch Oz. Go watch anything else that that man has been in. 127 minutes. Oh, <laughs> minutes. <laughs> to hours. Milk. <laughs> yeah, anything. We can sit Freaks here all night. Freaks and geeks. We can sit here all night and At say everything else that James Franco has been. Yes. Yes, he is a great actor. Yes, he is great. This film, still not worth it. Still not worth it. No. It is excruciating. I'm sorry. You know, maybe I'm one of the guys who just don't get it. No, no, Fine. no, 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 no. I'll, I'm, I'll dare to say it. The emperor wears no clothes. I'm sorry. You can throw all the pretense you want at me. Emperor still not wearing any clothes. There's, uh, there's no depth to this whatsoever. The only redeeming value that it has is James Franco for his performance. One and a half, and I'm being generous. Yeah, because I'm going to go a little bit low, below you. Uh, I, and I'll say, the, I think the moment I was done checking out, and I ain't going to spoil it for you, when it turns racist, I was done. So one star from me. Uh, I, it really, I don't, I don't get it why this thing is getting such praise from a lot of people. But you're wrong. I'll say that. Yes. <laughs> you are very wrong. <laughs> All right. Ho hopefully well. you'll be right or will be right <laughs> for the next review we do at the Ruby Cinema Pub with Big Movie Mouth Off. Until then. Spoiler.